question is, how are you going to make this better by shoving 47 million new people into an existing broke system? Why don't we go back and look at the underlying cost drivers that are bankrupting our country instead of issuing nine trillion more in debt over the next 10 years on top of 11.4 trillion already outstanding. Good question. So tell me, how are you going to fix this? We want to. And for all Americans that are here, okay, you people need to slow down, read the bill, because I spent 20 years defending this country, and you people are throwing it down the toilet yeah. with reckless spending, yeah. reckless policy. is a ball face lie. Yeah. I need the truth. And I asked for response. I got three letters on different questions and they all the same. So I feel that you have to question my intelligence, which uh, to me is an insult. I never did that. Because I don't know. No, you always did. You signed the letter. No, I'm dead. So it could have been my grandmother, okay? <laughs> Brilliant. I have a question. Brilliant. For six years, the Democrats have been controlling and making the laws on everything. And in six years... Yeah. And this is 12 years between 94 and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're holding Congress since 2006. The administration, the Republicans didn't have the guts to stand up for right. the yeah. elected. Yeah. And it's not in the Constitution. Right. right. If that, that health bill is so darn good, why in the world doesn't have Congress and Senate have the same? Sure. Okay, the first one is, 
I believe in a balanced budget and therefore will vote for a freeze in increased spending of the government until that goal is realized. Yeah. should not increase the financial burden on its citizenry during difficult economic times. Therefore, yeah. I will oppose all tax increases until our economy has rebounded. Right. Yeah. I support tax cuts to stimulate the economy for the 95% of the people. is a travesty. Yeah. Therefore, I will support an energy plan that calls for immediate increasing uses of all our domestic resources, yeah. including nuclear energy, oil, yeah. and natural gas. Yeah. Yeah. I've got two more, and it sounds like we're on the same page, so if you want to sign this when I get done, more about it. I believe in the sovereignty and security of our country and therefore will support measures to close our borders except for designated immigration points so we will know who is entering and why. Yeah. And I will yeah. 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 any other country, the United Nations or any other entity, power over the U.S. citizens. I like the part about the border. I like that part. Well, I have, I have I'm not for giving anybody sovereignty over the United States. Okay, when, when, when uh, the courts uh, sign international law that's not part of our Constitution, that's giving us some of our sovereignty. We are a member of the United Nations. Yeah, we pay 25% of the bill. I may not want to... To, to be so quick on this one, the WTO on Friday we'll trade will probably come down with a decision saying that Airbus gave illegal subsidy to uh, WTO, well, that Airbus received and, and, and gave from EADS illegal subsidy. Now, if we're not a part of the WTO, then we don't get the benefit of that decision, which could be a very big deal for Boeing selling airplanes and competing for this tanker thing. So some international well. agreements that we have entered into, where our Senate has confirmed it, is something we ought to respect. Okay, my last point, my last point, I believe the United States of America is the greatest country on Earth. I agree that. Or will not and actions which have served to free more people and feed more people around the world than any other nation on the planet. Yeah. I was very proud to see the sailors on the USS Lincoln providing aid and assistance in the in the in the Far East during the big law, the big the big storm there a few years ago. I think it shows there's when a we storm, see no big storm. Troops out there helping say. people in other countries. I think it's very compelling. He's on the defense committee.